What do you suggest for oneself if you cannot, um, if you cannot afford programs? What I just su suggest you is that, first of all, you see nowadays students of knowledge, we are spoiled because you can learn Arabic and learn any fun anywhere in the world. And if you dig deep enough for free even, how many teachers teach out there for free? Now, what you need to be doing is seeking that knowledge. As Al Imam uh, Malik said, Al ilmu yati wa la yu'ta. Knowledge needs to be gone to, and it will never come to you. So you have to seek this knowledge. Now, if you really want to learn the Arabic language, first of all, you need to ask, okay, what are the steps? Okay, this is the goal. What are the steps to get there? All right, fine. I need to go over this book. All right, fine. How many lessons are in this book? 64 lessons. All right, fine. I don't have a teacher. I can't afford a teacher. So let me find these student of knowledge or this per person that I know is qualified that maybe doesn't have that much time, but I can perhaps steal some of his time in exchange of something. Brother, I will clean your dishes if I can come to your house and read this book on you and you explain it to me. Brother, I will clean your car, you know, three times per week if you allow me to come to your house and read this book to you. You'll be surprised in Mauritania how hard it is to find a, a sheikh sometimes because the sheikh, his lifestyle is knowledge. So you have to actually go to his house, sit with him, deal with him, you know, dealing with his children and his ha home duties and so on. So you have to chase him for that knowledge. Sheikh, uh, what does this mean here? And you may be walking behind him in the street because he has to go and get this done from this store or whatever store. So you walk in behind him, Sheikh. Um, so he says this, he's listening to you and he's saying, yeah, this means this, this means this. And you walk in next to him, taking notes for you to go back then and, and you know, revise those notes. So seeking knowledge needs to be sought. It doesn't have to always be organized and the teacher comes at a particular time and then you know you jump on a live session it doesn't always have to be like that it's fine for it to be in a way where it's unorganized and maybe it's just 30 minutes a day where you call the sheikh before he goes sleep or the ustad or the brother and you ask him, yeah, hey, what does this mean? I went over this lesson today. What does this mean? Okay, fine, fine. I take this in, I take this note, etc., etc. Et so it doesn't always have to be flowers and butterflies and everything organized. 80% of good is enough for you to keep going. Progress doesn't always have to be 100% you know, efficient. 